Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, Ion Space is delighted to announce that Intelsat 39 and EDRSC have been separated as planned on the targeted geostationary transfer orbit. For the third Ion 5 launch of this year, our heavyweight vehicle has once more performed flawlessly. Congratulations to all of you. Well done, Ariane 5. Let me first thank our customer, Intelsat. 36 years after Intelsat 5 F7, this 61st mission together is a new bright success. So let me thank Mr. John Arborn, who's coming out from, <laughs> from behind, the senior manager of Intelsat Spacecraft Spacecraft Program Office, who is with us this afternoon. Thanks, John. Thank you, thank you for your trust. And for this successful delivery of the satellite, I also want to congratulate our US partner, Maxa, and notably Mr. Grant Gould, also behind me, the Spacecraft Program Manager, who is here with us today. Intelsat 39 marks the 57th satellite based on a Maxar 1300 platform that Ion Space has flown. Thanks for this partnership. Now, let me also express my deepest gratitude to our second customer and partner today, Airbus. On this day, we celebrate the 132nd successful mission together since Marex A flew aboard the fourth launch of Ariane that was in 1991. What a journey, and here's to incredible partnership. Let me express my warmest thanks to you, Richard, to Richard Franklin, head of Secure Communications, for sharing this moment uh, here with us. Our journey does not stop here, as Airbus have, has entrusted 21 more of its birds on our launchers and notably on Ariane 6 and Vega C. So we are looking forward to welcome you again here and for all these flights. I also want to extend my congratulations to OHB, the manufacturer of this satellite, and to Guy Perez, the CTO and head of telecom satellites at OHB, here at CSG today. Thank you, thank you, Guy. EDRC marks the 26 spacecraft based on a OHP platform launched by Ion Space. Thanks for this partnership. If you allow me, let me also express my deepest gratitude to another key teammate, Isa, and especially I would like to thank you, uh, Herman Muller, for being uh, with us uh, today. And if you allow me, I, I would also say a, a, a big up, a, a huge big up to uh, Magali Vestier, uh, director of uh, TIA, Telecommunication and Integrated uh, applications at, uh, at ESA. So big up to, to you, Shapoba, Magali, and, uh, and uh, big uh, uh, congratulations to, to the whole team at uh, TIA. The agency partnered with Airbus in a PPP for EDRSC and the Space Data Highway program, hence by orbiting EDRSC with very positive outcomes for society, Ion Space once again ensures its first mission that is European independent access to space. I also take this moment to extend my warmest thanks to uh, Mr. Klaus Lippert, head of launcher department at DLR, for sharing this success with us here in, uh, in Co. And finally, I also want to thank another private partner of ESA that was aboard the flight today, Avanti. Ida 3 is a hosted payload on EDRSC and already the fourth payload we fly for, for you, Avanti. Thanks, thanks for being here, Scott. Uh, with this third Ion 5 of the year orbit, orbiting our fifth and sixth geo satellites, our heavyweight launcher reasserts its leading position on the geo market. Indeed, VA 249 marks the 377th and 378th satellite, geo satellites orbited by Ion Space. So let me now congratulate all our partners who played their part in this success. Once again, ESA on the launch on the launcher side also, ESA and all the member states of the Ion program whose support is essential for us. 
thanks to the prime contractor of today, Ariane Group, of course, and the first shareholder of Ariane Space. Well done with Ariane 5. Thanks to CNES, Ariane 5 Design Authority, and our daily partner here in CSG. And thanks to all our contractors in French Guiana and all employees here at the launch facility. And of course, let me pay tribute to my Ion Space colleagues for this new success. I would now like to welcome to the stage our customers and partners. Please. Good afternoon, distinguished guests and colleagues. Thank you all for being here today, and congratulations to all on the successful mission. Ironespace is known for delivering, and today did not disappoint. We are very appreciative for another flawless mission, marking the 20th Intelsat satellite that has been launched on the Ariane 5. I'd also like to recognize our manufacturing partner, Maxar, they have been a trusted and reliable manufacturing partner for Intelsat, and I'd like to thank them for their hard work, dedication, and strong track record of delivering satellites on time. Having the industry's most trusted leading experts at our side is critical, as our customers rely on us to provide broadband connectivity to support the businesses and communities they serve. Intelsat 39, designed with both C and KU band, wide beam and high powered steerable spots, will provide broadband networking, video, mobility and government services to customers across Africa, Asia, Europe and the Middle East. Intelsat 39 will also enable mobile network operators, enterprises and internet service providers to expand their networks at higher speeds and a lower total cost of ownership. It will provide governments with the necessary infrastructure to reach remote areas across the region, supporting our mission to narrow the digital divide. I'd like to thank our customers for entrusting Intelsat's global space-based and Intelsat One terrestrial infrastructure to help them achieve their business and growth objectives. We are grateful that Paul Eckberg of Ozon could be here with us today to celebrate the launch. Combining the power, flexibility and resiliency of Intelsat 39 with Ozon's managed service and ultra-small laptop-sized terminals, we will be able to provide up to five times the throughput capability to teams conducting disaster response operations and delivering mission-critical information at the tactical edge. We truly value our partnership and look forward to our continued success together. Again, I'd like to congratulate and thank everyone here today for another launch success. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm uh, Grant Gould, Maxar Space Solutions out of Palo Alto, California. I'm a member of our launch vehicle team. Wow, that was some launch. I hope everyone here at Jupiter enjoyed watching that. I know I sure did from the console. It's a perfect way to end the launch campaign. John, thank you for the kind words directed towards Maxar. It was our pleasure to deliver for you the highly capable, flexible Intelsat 39 spacecraft, which happens to be replacing another Maxar spacecraft, which we launched here in, uh, 18 years ago on an Ariane 44L. It's always fun uh, working with you, and we look forward to future collaborations together. And I also want to congratulate our EDS uh, co-passenger today, the OHB, uh, Airbus, ESA team, and Avanti, who had the uh, Hylus 3 uh, co-hosted payload on board, provided by uh, Maxar's sister division, MD Ape in Canada. So congratulations to our friends and colleagues up in Canada as well. Uh, Really be remiss if I didn't give a quick shout out to the Maxar Intelsat 39 launch team, the best in the business. Thanks, team, for another great campaign. And uh, Ariane's boss, thank you. Another successful ride to orbit, coming just six weeks after our last ride to orbit on VA 248. 
We had our first all-way electric platform on that launch. It's doing quite well on its way to its final geo orbit location. So uh, Maxar will be leaving the launch base soon, but we won't be gone for long. We'll be back later this year for a, an exciting small sat mission on Vega, uh, hopefully later this year. And we'll be back in 2020 with two delivery on orbit spacecraft where Maxar is both the satellite manufacturer and the Ariane Spots customer. So till then, best wishes. And uh, I'm part of the operational team. We have a tradition here of drinking champagne after the uh, launch, and that's where I'm going to go now. So thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Richard Franklin from Airbus. Um, it's an honor for me to be here to celebrate this success with you, the launch of our second EDRS satellite. And as Grant just said, wow, this is my first launch. It's truly amazing. I'm going to be back for more. Um, EDRSC is key to the ongoing development of our laser program, the Space Digital Highway, and towards a fully redundant global network. Airbus is very proud to be the lead in the consortia, the prime, and to deliver the service to the benefit of our customers. I would like to specifically thank ESA, our partner, and this program is only possible due to our continuous and strong support from them along this long program. The same applies to the German Aerospace Center. Only your long-standing efforts made laser communications possible. Furthermore, I'd like to thank the European Commission for the Copernicus program and being our anchor tenant on the EDRS program. I'd also like to thank Ariana Spass, CNS, and the Ghana Space Center for the successful launch, but also being such tremendous hosts. Really impressive and great, great fun today. The launch tonight comes after many years of intense work from a number of teams, the Airbus team, the OHB team, the TSAT team. It's taken a lot of work and a great deal of teamwork together, and the success tonight, I think, is testament to all the efforts that teams have put in. Of course, it doesn't stop here. Our teams in Europe are already working on the first in operation testing. This phase will continue for several months. And we can now officially start the service that will last for the next 15 years. So special thanks also go to the German Space Operations Center and the GSOC, which was responsible for the payload operations. By now, the first telemetry should have been picked up and testing should be underway. Laser communications is now firmly established. With EDRS-A, we've already done 23,000 successful links. EDRS-C takes us to that next level, adding extra capability to the backbone and proving that we are capable of doing missions that conventional satellites were not capable of doing before, enabling capability, saving money, and looking to the future. We're already focused on the next one, looking at EDRS Global. Hopefully, in the next few years, we'll be back for another launch. But now, just all to say thank you for everyone coming, and then please enjoy the success that we've all had tonight. Thank you. Monsieur, Dame, ladies and gentlemen, permettez-moi, je vais faire mon discours en français et en anglais. And only a few is left between now and cocktail time, so I will be quick. Au nom d'Avanti, je voudrais remercier Ariane Spass pour le quatrième lancement réussi, ainsi que tous les autres partenaires de la mission, l'ESA, Airbus, OHP, et plus particulièrement MDA, qui ont construit la charge utile. On behalf of Avanti, I would like to thank Ariane Spass for our fourth successful launch together, and all other mission partners, ESA, Airbus, OHB, and especially MDA, who built the payload. Depuis 2002, cela a été tout un voyage, d'une boîte bleue à notre propre flotte, à laquelle Ilas 3 est désormais un ajout très bienvenu. Since 2002, it has been quite a journey from a blue box, and there will be some people that know what I'm talking about, through lease capacity on Intelsat 903, 
to our very own fleet, to which Hylas III is now a very welcome addition. I would also like to congratulate Intelsat and their partners and wish them every success. Je voudrais également féliciter Intelsat et ses partenaires et le souhaiter plein succès. En conclusion, Avanti compte maintenant sur un partenariat opérationnel fructueux avec Airbus tout au long de la mission afin que nous puissions connecter les gens, les communautés et les continents à des nouvelles opportunités. In closing, Avanti now looks forward to a successful operational partnership with Airbus throughout the lifetime of the mission, so that we may connect people, communities and continents to new opportunity so that people can be more. Merci de votre attention et thank you for listening. So good afternoon, everybody. My name is Guy Perez. I'm the CTO of OHP System. At first, I would like to say uh, how wonderful was this launch. We could even observe the uh, separation of the boosters under clear skies, blue sky conditions. And I, I should say that this is really a privilege of uh, having attended such a launch in uh, these very good conditions. Uh, I was there several times personally under uh, different conditions and must say that this one was really exceptional. I would like to thank very much Ian Espace and uh, Luz Fabriquet in particular for the very good uh, work of their teams. So uh, basically OHB is proud of contributing to the uh, European Space Data Highway uh, with its first fully dedicated spacecraft EDRSC that was entirely designed, built, developed and tested by OHB system. So we are very proud of that. Uh, ESA and Airbus gave us the opportunity to build and launch the second small geo uh, spacecraft. The first, by the way, have been, been launched by Ariane Espace using a Soyuz launch vehicle two years ago, which was, by the way, a full success with a very accurate injection into GTO for the first time. It was the first time that the Freeton satellite uh, was reaching GTO, and we are proud also of uh, having contributing to that, uh, to that first. Further geo satellites drawing on the two small geo satellites are already in the pipeline, MTG, H2Sat, but also Electra. Most of them will be launched also on Ariane 5 or Ariane 6 uh, in the future, so we are planning for these events as, as well, as was said before, I'd like to be there at that time as well. Uh, our engineering teams did a great job in fully, fulfilling basically two uh, main goals. The first one was to adapt the platform, uh, the small geo platform to these very demanding uh, mission requirements, basically about having a very uh, accurate uh, and, uh, attitude knowledge and also a very uh, stable pointing of the spacecraft, and second, to accommodate the uh, ILAS-3 payload, which was uh, basically given as a CFI by, uh, by ESA. So um, I would not deviate uh, at the end of my speech from uh, the series of big thanks, so big thanks first to the OGB team, and uh, who basically uh, managed to uh, uh, bring this project to success under a multi-customer context uh, with different uh, Airbus teams from Friedrichshafen, from uh, Autobrun, but also uh, two indirect, very important customers for us, ESA first and also Avanti. Uh, so that's, uh, that, that was really a challenge from our teams and they did very well. 
I'd like to also associate uh, the thanks to our main subcontractors, basically TZAT, Avio, OHB Sweden, and Lookspace. They did, amongst others, the supplier da database uh, from our OHB is very wide, very big. All the European countries are part of the uh, industrial uh, uh, collaboration to build this uh, spacecraft. And, uh, of course, uh, I would not avoid in the thanks the teams from Marianne Espace again and CNES. They did an excellent job, which for us is not a surprise, again, in uh, providing uh, any element to make uh, this uh, launch campaign very successful. The uh, customers as well, I would not, of course, forget our customer, very demanding customer, Airbus DS. But we appreciate it to be challenged, uh, I should say, by these teams. It was quite a pleasure to uh, address the requirements and the requests from uh, your teams. Uh, and the same for ISA and Avanti. We'd like to thank ISA in particular for the trust that you have put in OHB capabilities which we are going to demo continue to demonstrate within the LEOP. And last, not, by le not, uh, by, uh, not least, I would not uh, as well um, forget to thank very much all the member states, these are member states who contributed, in particular Germany, who contributed very much to the uh, advent of that mission without their huge financial contribution, there would not be uh, today such a wonderful mission that uh, OHB was very proud to, uh, to take. Thank you very much to all of you. So again, congratulations to all the teams for this outstanding success. Long life to uh, EDRSC and to Intelsat 39. We had a busy first half of the year, so we will be back in a few weeks. And in the meantime, I would like to wish you all the best summer. Thank you for your attention and enjoy the end of the day or the evening or the night. Thank you.